Oi, pessoas. Table's a bit wobbly. Oi, pessoas, tudo bem com vocês? Uh, então, hoje eu vou falar sobre uh, um vídeo sobre Brazil, I guess. Someone sent me this video and um, told me to watch it and maybe make a reaction to it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. It is a video displaying uh, some of the most beautiful places in Brazil. The title is, Do You Know Brazil? The Most Underrated Country in the World. I kind of agree in a, in a sense. I think like from the UK and it's far common in the US as well. It's not like a massively touristic country, is it Brazil? It has its like very touristic cities. Rio and Sao Paulo and there's a few other places of course that are very touristic. But there's so many places in Brazil that are like extremely beautiful and not many people know about them. Um, in the UK it's very common to travel in places like Indonesia, Thailand, um, in this kind of region of the world. Uh, so many people travel there and live there from the UK, from Europe and even from like Australia and New Zealand. So in that sense I guess Brazil is kind of underrated. If anyone isn't aware of how beautiful Brazil really is then yeah in that sense it's underrated but also right now I've been stuck in the house for the past two weeks we're not allowed to go out I can't even go to Brazil right now because as a UK national I am banned from Brazil I'm not allowed in Brazil because of this um, horrible Covid situation we have in the UK which is really annoying because I, don't, I think if it wasn't for that I probably would be back in Brazil by now it's probably the best time to leave the UK right now because it's like in horrible weather, it's winter, it's cold. It's been snowing a lot lately. I'm gonna show you guys like out the window video. Here's me, look. Um, so, look, you see, it's snow. Um, and yeah, there's a little part, it's, it's, the snow's kind of melted now. But um, yeah, all in all, um, the weather's been pretty uh, horrible. Especially with this quarantine situation, watching a video about Brazil would be a nice form of escapism. So, without further ado, Let's uh, watch this video and hopefully enjoy together. Maybe you're stuck in Brazil as well. Maybe your your city is in lockdown in Brazil. Uh, maybe you want to travel to some places in your country. Um, so let's watch this video and enjoy a little bit of escapism and my running commentary with it. So let's do it. Angie's de Commissar, say inscribe no meu canal. Fale com Jake. That I'm likey, that I'm likey. Um, what is it? Um, Siggy me. I always forget this one. No Siggy me Instagram. Siggy me Instagram. No Siggy me Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. You get the point anyway. Oh yeah. Hang on a minute. I really want to go to this place. Really want to go to this place. Yo quiero ir la. Is that how you say it? Yo quiero ir la. Want to go over there? Yeah, um, Les Soins Maranhenas. Hen says it's very difficult to pronounce. I don't think there's many places that look like that in the world. Uh, it's completely unique and it's somewhere that I would love to visit. It's... And there as well, mountains. I love mountains. And that is like an example of like other places in Rio de Janeiro that it's not just Rio de Janeiro as we as so many people know it like Copacabana and um, the Sugarloaf, uh, Açúcar Pão de Açúcar, is that what you call it? Yeah, like the touristic places, places like that in in Rio de Janeiro, is so beautiful. That is where is that actually? I kind of want to Google that. Okay, so it's quite far from Brazil. From Brazil uh, here, but it looks beautiful. I tell you, one place I would like to go is here. It's uh, Teresa Polis. Th Teresa Polis. This place looks amazing. Like I really wanted to go there when I first went to Brazil, um, but the weather wasn't great, so um, we decided not to do it. And we was kind of busy in Rio because there's so much to do in Rio de Janeiro anyway. Um, but this place, look at those mountains, look at that, I'd love to go there. Anyway, let's get back to this video because I'm getting highly distracted already. Ah, oh, 
another place I would love to go. I just, 10 seconds into the video and I've barely made it past it without stopping, but it's just so many places that I want to go to in Brazil. Brasilia, been there. The sunset, look at that sunset. The sunsets in Brazil, in, in Brasilia are so beautiful. Santa Catarina, I can't even stop with this. Look at that, Canyon do Funil. That looks beautiful, man. Proper when I go back to Brazil now. <laughs> Iguaçu Falls, Para, Paraná, Paraná. This is like a quite touristic, this place. So I'm a bit weird. Like if something's like massively popular, like I kind of like don't want to go there because I'm selfish. And I like to find places where it's not like loads of people, where it's not really busy. Places like this, they look amazing, but I can just imagine how busy they are. But I would love to go there, of course, but it's just kind of like not the top of the list. There's so many, like this, in the first 25 seconds, you can see how diverse Brazil is. Like mountains, beautiful beaches, Unique places like the Linsoins, Maranais. I wish I could say that properly. Sheets from Maranais. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Lençóis Maranhenses. Maranhenses. Lençóis Maranhenses. In, in English, just while we're, while we're here. Sheets from Maranhau. <laughs> What's that? Anyway, sorry, I get distracted. Um, as I was saying, like, there's so many different sceneries, like, Brazil's so diverse from south to north, across the middle, the central Brazil, the Sahado. It's such a big country, there's so much, like, diverse sceneries, and that is one of the reasons why I love Brazil so much, and, um, it's all in one country. It's all one language, so if I learn Portuguese, I can travel the whole of Brazil. It's not like in Europe, where, like, you can travel across Europe, and... Europe's probably like will fit into Brazil, like most of Europe will fit into Brazil, but you've got to change language every time you go 500 miles, which gets confusing. So it's easier to travel in Brazil. Never thought of that, did you? I really want to go to this place. When I when I went to Bahia, I think we drove like near this 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 um, Chapada Diamantina. Um, it looks so beautiful. The Amazon, I was supposed to go there, but my trip was canceled back last year in April. I was really excited about going there, taking loads of pictures, making some videos. It's, what, it's the one place in Brazil that if you said to me, you've got Three, three weeks in Brazil, yeah, and only three weeks, I would probably choose the Amazon to travel to. It's a very difficult choice. Well, that's that place, isn't it? Monchi Horamain. That is on the border of Venezuela, and that is like one of the places that I would love to go to. It seems extremely difficult to get there and very expensive um, as it's quite inaccessible but if you've not seen this place I don't know if it's that popular if many people like know about it. It's beautiful. Um, I think it's the tallest mountain in Brazil. It looks amazing. It's got like one of the, the there's a waterfall at the top and it's just like insane. Um, it's, I think it's the biggest waterfall in South America. That might be uh, a lie. It's such a beautiful place. Places like that, that's so beautiful. Where Piauí, Piauí State, that's in the north, isn't it? I think. I forgot it snows in in the south. Gramado, yeah. I like to go to Gramado. It's quite interesting with the um the the, the German history in that town. It's quite an, quite an interesting history of Gramado. So I would quite like to go there. Of course, São Paulo is 
a huge, huge city. A lot of people don't even realise that Brazil has this huge, condensed, massively populated city. Would love to explore it because, like, there must be so much to see there. Um, there are a lot of different cultures in, in, in Sao Paulo, like the Japanese community as well, which is really interesting. So, would love to go to Sao Paulo. Salvador as well is supposedly where Brazil um, was first colonized by the Portuguese, I believe. The Portuguese explorers settled, arrived in Salvador. Um, so a lot of history in Salvador and would love to visit there and would love to see the museums there. Not only that, but it seems like a, a, a an interesting city. Um, Bahia in general is a beautiful state, so would love to go there. Pantanal, so much wildlife. I um, really want to go there. I love wildlife, I love nature. Amo Natareza. Love to go to the Pantanal. really want to go there and go ice. I love go ice. I've travelled in go ice and I know it, it has so much beautiful waterfalls there. Um, I can never say this one. Chapada dos Viaderes, Viaderos, um, in Go Ice. Definitely want to go there. Brasilia. Such a, it's actually an interesting city. When I first arrived there, um, confused by it because it doesn't have the structure of a typical city. It's quite a new city, um, so that's interesting in itself. And obviously the guy that designed it, I forgot his name, but he was like a famous architecture, designed it in the shape of an airplane. So that in itself makes it quite a confusing city to, to explore. But yeah, it's... Um, it's the federal district, so many politicians are based there. But it also has quite an interesting night nightlife, and um, it does have some interesting places to see. The architecture there, if you like architecture, it's definitely interesting for that. Minas Gerais, home of Pound de Queijo. I want to go Minas for the food and for the mountains. Many places to hike in Minas, I've been told. So I would love to go there. And it's got some interesting history as well in Minas, some interesting architecture and buildings. So I um, definitely would love to fly my drone there. <laughs> This is Brazil. So that is Brazil. There was a good variety there and it showed some of the most beautiful places in Brazil. The first time I went to Brazil I was meant to travel and see many places um, and I didn't get to do that because of the uh, pandemic so when I watch videos like that it just makes me want to return to Brazil so much. I wish I could go back there right now. I, I could talk about it all day <laughs> but I just get frustrated. What I want to know from you guys to put in the comments, what other places would you recommend to visit? I always ask this question um, to people from Brazil because I love to learn about places that, that, that they recommend to visit because everyone's got their own opinion. 
with people being from different places in Brazil. Let me know in the comments and tell me the places that you would recommend for me to go to in Brazil. There's so many different different places and they probably didn't feature all the, the most beautiful places in Brazil in that video. I'm sure there's more places that I would love to visit if I was shown. So let me know in the comments. Say inscribe no my canal. Give me a like. If you like the video, give a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Obrigado. Ciao.